Hello Gemini, welcome to the channel. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes and I hope you're all doing well. This is a general reading, it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate, please look at your moon and rising signs because that will give you greater clarity. We have the Three of Earth, which is the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is a beautiful, stable energy here. The power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work, be a team player. Now, this is collaboration type of energy to lay solid foundations for your future. It's putting the hard work in and you always benefit from hard work. Yeah, anything laid on solid foundations. Okay, solid foundations, thank you, Spirit. Anything based on solid foundations will only bring growth. Creation. Yes, it's about creating solid foundations for the future. Completion. So this is about a new cycle beginning here. Right, just let's see what the tarot's saying. If this doesn't resonate, there is a playlist on my channel for November, and there's other messages there you could look at. Completion. It's the end of one cycle and the beginning of another. Let's see. Tower moment. Okay. The Four of Swords. The King of Pentacles. Yeah. The Two of Pentacles. So this is like the Death card here. Yeah. Makes sense though. The overall energy is the Ace of Swords. The Eight of Cups. The Five of Cups, the beautiful Sun card, and the Emperor. Now, what we've got here is we've obviously got a Tower moment. So there's, you're either been through a Tower moment or you're going through it. Now, a Tower moment is different for everybody. There's different degrees of this. This can feel like the rug pulled from under your feet. But the Tower moment is about things that are built on insecure foundations that will fall away. There's better out there for you here. Now. The reason is on this card here, and I did say this is about laying solid foundations for your future. So it's about creating new things. After the Tower card comes the Star card, which is hope and rejuvenation. New hope coming into your life. You getting back into um, becoming the star of your own show, if you like. So this Tower moment happens when there's better things there. And this is about creating new things and new stability in your life. So we need to create things here where there's solid foundations being laid and they're going to stand the test of time. Now, this is understandable here. It could be that this is one cycle of your life ending and a new one beginning. This is what it can feel like. Now, this can cause upset in your life. And there's no, he's crying over these cups here and there's no way he can refill these cups. So what this is about is this is about letting the past go, the disappointments go now. And looking at the blessings in the present. So forgetting the fives of change. We need to change this. So we don't want to be looking at the past and regretting what's went on in the past. We want to understand that tower moments come when they're needed. Change is needed here. And we want to be looking at the two cups here so that we can go forward. And sometimes in the other cards, you can see them. If you looked at the cups, you could go over the bridge to new things. So new chapters of your life are ready to start here, Gemini. And we need to be weighing things up here. And how, what we're going to create now, what are we going to do here to bring, uh, in, we're going to be making decisions here to bring greater stability back into our lives. Now, this could be in any area of your life. It could be within your work life, your finances, your relationships or your environments. It'll be different for everybody. It could be one or more area, depending on what's going on. But you're going to have to make a head over heels decision here to go towards things now and create new stability for yourself. Now, the, we've got the two and we've got the three. Now, this, for example, could be joining a new company or a new team where you've got support networks where your skills are being recognised and you're getting paid well for your skills and you're laying full, solid foundations for the future in a job situation. It could also you be collaborating with somebody on how you want to invest your money. You might want to come together with someone and invest your money. Um, to great, and you could build greater stability with that. So new properties, new moving to a new home, anything like that. Uh, you could be getting together with one person or more than one person. But weighing things up now, putting disappointments behind you and bringing greater balance, it's a new chapter. It's out with the old and in with the new. Now, what we're needing to do here is we're needing to brainstorm. This also is about leaving behind things that no longer fulfil you. And that's why this tower moment happened. There was something missing here. It wasn't built on solid foundations. So we're going to make a decision now to go towards moving away from this eight of uh, cups 
and going towards the night, which is a wish fulfillment card. So we're going to be brainstorming here when we're weighing things up. Now, he's been through battle. You can see that here. But when he reviews things, he sits back and he recovers from your tower moment. You'll be able to sit back and you'll be able to think about and brainstorm about how you're going to go forward and how we're going to weigh things up now to go forward. And you will gain the clarity you need. Now, this could be information coming forward. The universe could be bringing you information in. Uh, there could be... Um, it could be clarity coming from the fact that you're brainstorming. You could start to see the way forward yourself. But we're always, when we're making decisions and weighing things up here, we're always tuning in with intuition. What we're thinking, sensing and feeling and seeing around us. Because our gut voice is our sixth sense. It never lets you down. So thinking about how you're going forward can give you the clarity you need here. Or there could be information coming forward. Or this tower moment could be what's given you the clarity you needed to move forward here. Uh, and once we decide how we're going to go, this is about empowerment. It's about taking back control here and coming into your own. He's, a, he's the emperor. He's taking control of things here. He's deciding to leave things behind. He's gained a lot of knowledge here and he's taking control of his life now. He's looking at his blessings. He's weighing things up and he's going towards creating his own empire here. So you've learned what's unstable in your life here, uh, Gemini. And it's time to go forward. Now, this can also be someone who's got a lot of knowledge that could help give you the clarity you need. So if you need advice, whether it be legal advice, um, you know, it could be a counsellor, it could be a teacher, whatever it is that you're going to invest your time in now, whatever you're deciding to create here, because this is about creating new things, remember, um, you might need to gather information. And there's people could help you do that, that have got the knowledge you could use, that could you could benefit from here. And what's going to happen is you're going to go from this tower moment, you're brainstorming and weighing things up. And whatever you're investing in here now is going to bring you security, greater security in the future here. So like I say, there's three of pentacles, the work that you're putting in, the hard work that you're investing in, whether it be within your relationships, your finances, your environments or your home life, whatever it is you're investing in now and creating. It's going to bring great stability for your future. And he's somebody who can sit back now and he can enjoy the fruits of his labour. So jobs where he's been able to invest in, there's growth, stable jobs where he's got wage rises. He can do courses. You could even be promoted and you could become a boss type energy. That's the type of energy we're talking about here. So new chapters of your life are ready to start here, Gemini. The instability is going and there is new things coming in. It's time to make uh, you know, brainstorm and go towards new opportunities. Now, this can also be if you've invested money, for example, you could be sitting back and you've got a great home life, security in that sense. Good relationships. If it's your relationships we're talking about here, you could invest in, uh, you could have very supportive work colleagues here, definitely. A supportive partner that you're investing money with, investing in your future with. So great things ahead after unstable times. And what's going to happen? Because you've been prepared to leave the past behind and you've weighed things up and you're going towards new things here, the planets will align for you and there'll be a lot of joy and happiness that's going to come uh, from ending these disappointments. It's completion of disappointments. Taking control will definitely move you towards happiness in your life here. Okay, so a lot of happiness lies ahead. There's a lot of happiness going to come in for you. But tower moments, I know they can be difficult, but they're there to help you gain uh, stability, bring uh, greater things into your life that you deserve. We all deserve the best. We deserve wish fulfillment and contentment. Ask. It's okay to ask for help. It's not a sign of weakness. And that's what I'm saying. You might have to ask for advice or support from people. It might be um, knowledge that might need to be gained here. Goals. Goals. It's time for you to take your goals off the back burner and go after them. And that's what this is about. It's about creating new things here. I hope this helps, Gemini. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.